New this morning, Valley organizations that rely on donations to keep going are taking a hit, whether it's a lack of volunteers or maybe funds. First News reporter Alexis Walter, she's live now in the newsroom with the latest events that they had to cancel and the impact that it's having in the long run. Alexis. Good morning, guys. Trumbull Mobile Meals delivers food to people throughout the county who can't get out and do it themselves. Now they do it five days a week and it's not free, but they people pay on a sliding scale and that helps keep the cost low for those who can't afford it. They hold a few fundraisers all throughout the year to help cut down on that cost for people who can't afford that food. But you can likely guess because of COVID-19, they had to cancel this year's fundraiser, several of them, both the Edward C. Taylor Memorial March and their Jim Economist Memorial Golf Outing. So I talked with the CEO of Mobile Meals about what this could mean in the long run. She told me these funds will need to come from somewhere else in order to keep the cost low and to keep the people they have on staff running this business. But that could mean, like a lot of others have done, taking all of their events virtual. The board and I have been discussing, I don't know if we're going to be doing our normal fundraisers this year at all. Um, we're <clears throat> talking about canceling all of our fundraisers this year that we normally would do because we don't want to take a chance on somebody getting sick. Well, it isn't just money that's lacking either. It's volunteers. When COVID started, they cut back to delivering food just one day a week. But now, as they're getting back to delivering five of the seven days, they need more volunteers to drive. And they aren't the only ones looking for ways to fill the void of canceled events. Coming up in the next half hour, I talked with the United Way about the ways that the community has reached out, even if it isn't at major fundraising events, and also the impacts long run that this could have on nonprofits all over. Live in the newsroom, Alexis Walters, First News This Morning.